Okay, now in this truss, we have four hinge supports. And all the hinge supports are regarded as stable joints. And using the concept that two stable joints leads to the third joint stable, then we have a situation where this is a stable joint, this is a stable joint. Through the two members, the third joint will be stable. And now with this stable joint and this stable joint through two members, the third joint will be stable. By the same token, the last joint will be stable through the other two stable joints. So the system is a stable truss. Now, if we change the situation where we want to modify or change this hinge support to a roller support, where only the vertical restraint is provided, but the horizontal restraint is no longer there, we will see if the truss is still stable or not. So now let's remove this support here, make it a roller support so that it can slide horizontally. Then we'll see what happens. OK, immediately this truss structure becomes a mechanism. So it becomes an, an, unstable, an unstable structure. So similarly, if we want to push the other way, it becomes a mechanism. And now, actually, if you want to use M plus R and compare with 2J, we will find that number of reactions now is reduced by one because this becomes a roller. So we will have a situation where M plus R less than 2J. So the system is unstable also.